Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing an unboxing of this small hybrid Snow Joe snowblower. Matt from Snow Joe actually approached me and asked me if I could do an unboxing and show it to you guys. And today's video is just going to be a brief review of it. You guys can decide if you like it or not. I'm not here to endorse it, but simply to take it out of the box and show you what it's all about. Here are some of the specs on the box. It's 18 inch, 40 volt max, 13.5 amp. Now this one is cordless and electric, so you can use it with the battery. If you don't like using just the battery, you can actually use an electrical cord. And by the way, it is a lithium battery. And if you get one of these Snow Joe snowblower, it's going to come in a small box like this. And I'm just going to grab my X-Acto knife and crack the box open. And you can see it's nicely packed in there. There might be some minor assembly required. I will show you how to do that as well. It's not too heavy. Now the manual's in the box, and I imagine that's the battery. And you may want to read the instructions first. And here's a charger for the battery. You can plug this in the wall. Here's a bit of hardware for the handles, I guess. And here's the actual battery. So there's a bit of weight to it. Again, it's a 40 volt battery. And I'll take the charger out here to show it to you. And there it is. And then your battery just clips in like this. And I've got the battery on charge here. You can see by the colors here that it still needs to be charged. You want it to be double green. The one thing I find about being able to take the battery out of the unit is that you can take it into the house from the cold. Now I'm just gonna take off the plastic and the cardboard around it and put it together. So as you can see, there's definitely some assembly required. Now at this point, you wanna grab these two knobs here with this hardware, and you wanna undo the knob from the hardware. And now you need to grab the handlebars, put them in through here. So you have to squeeze this a bit. Now what you need to do is line up the handlebars and the holes on them. And once you do, you want to insert the hardware in the top hole. And now lift up the handlebars before you tighten it up. And this is how you want it to be installed. And now repeat the same process on the other side. And I'm going to lift up the handles at the back. And this is a nice feature here. You can adjust it the way you want. I'll leave it like this for now. And do the other side the same. And the rest of the hardware is to attach the part of the chute that tilts. And that's very easy to do. Actually, before you put the chute on, you need to put in the carriage bolt on this side. Put the rubber. And now repeat the same process on this side. Insert the carriage bolt. Install the rubber washer. It's only going to take you about five minutes to put this thing together. Now at the front here is where the battery goes in. But you can also use it without the battery because it does have an electrical cord here. You will have to remove this cover first. Now this little blower comes with an LED light. The switch is on top. If you're using this blower here plugged in, you have to push this button, then this lever to activate it. If you're using the battery as a power source, you have to push the button on the other side and then push in this lever. And the little switch right here is to move the chute from left to right, which is really nice. And it's really easy to push. Now what I do like about this blower is that the paddle here is made of rubber. On a lot of small push blowers like this, the auger system is all made of plastic and before you know it, it's all broken in pieces. At least with the rubber, it's going to withstand a lot more abuse. And it seems like it does have bearings at each end and it does feel pretty solid over here as well. What I'm going to do now is plug it in and just try with the electrical power. Now you're going to need a cord with an end like this so that it can fit inside the receptacle here. 
And now because I'm running it on electrical power, I'm going to push this button here and press in the lever. Now this plastic thing on the handle is to put in your cord like this. I guess it keeps the pressure off the main unit or switch here. And you can use these plastic clips here at the bottom as well to secure the wires. And it's the same thing for the wire here that goes to the light. Now I'm going to unplug that and put in the battery. This little leaflet was in the battery pack and it shows that they do make other products. Here's a little pole saw, a lawnmower, a chainsaw. Now if you're using the battery, just lift this up, slide the battery in, click it in. And now you'll need to push in the button on the left. And with the battery, you can turn on the light without having the lever down. So make sure you do not forget it on. Overall, it's actually a nice little machine. It's not for a big driveway, but if you want to do your deck or if you have a really small yard, that would be excellent. You don't have to worry about gas or old gas or things not starting up. This little thing's going to run all the time because it runs on power and battery. I like the feature that you can use either the battery or the cord. That's really handy. At the moment, we do not have snow, so I cannot try it out and show you guys how it blows snow. Anyway, I just wanted to show it to you guys. Please leave your comments under the video as to what you think about these little machines. Especially if you own one, I'd like to hear what you think. But overall, my opinion would be that it looks to be of pretty good quality for a small blower like this. Once we get snow here, I may make another video and test it out just to show you guys how far it blows snow. Thanks for watching guys. I have put a link under the video to where you can go read all the specs of this little snowblower. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day.